Are you struggling with something right now? Are you facing a crisis, maybe mentally, spiritually, relationally, professionally, medically? Well, then pray and wait. Nope. And yes, but also you should do something else too. What else? Do you know how my community, my church family survived the pandemic? Why we, though slowly, but keep growing? Because our members started using their many talents. Instead of falling in despair, in the moment the pandemic hit our church, each of us stood up and, and, and we were brainstorming of, of the many talents and gifts we have, how we could help, what we could do in order to reach out the members, you know, during the shutdown. And it worked. When you struggle with something, you have only two options. To stay home and keep licking your wounds and feel sorry for yourself and even victimize yourself or to stand up and, uh, and look for opportunities and resources to deploy your forte, which means to use your talents, your gifts God bless you with. A couple of Christmases ago, one of our Sunday school teacher, Kathy, she was preaching at the Christmas Eve service, and uh, this is what she said. Having talents and gifts and capacities is one thing, but using them means you shine. And do you know when someone shines, it's so attractive to other people it just draws other people toward you. Jesus said, let your light so shine before others that they may see your good deeds. Isn't that amazing? So regardless of what you go through, what circumstances you face right now, you must know that you are blessed you are blessed with, with the power of the many talents you have. We all have something to use. I remember when I moved to Canada and I did not speak English at all, actually. After three months of English course, I got my first invitation to a ministry. And in this outreach ministry, I served people who were homeless or lived on a very low income or were struggling coping with substance use. And imagine them looking at me, a foreign person, a foreign woman, who was supposed to help them in every way. And so I asked them first to help me. And they were sort of surprised and even shocked. Alice, how can we help you? <laughs> we have nothing. Um, we live literally on the streets in minus 40 and even colder. And I said, just help me with English, with my English, because, because you are in the position that you know English better than I. Yes, it, it was ice breaking between us, between them and me. And it helped those people to see that you are never in a position not being able to help others. You always have something to share. Your ability, your time, your energy. Gifts mean you are able to share. So stop feeling sorry for yourself. Stand up. Get out into the life. 
and start giving what you're able to give. Because in that moment you start giving, you will not feel that you are actually a needy person, that you are the victim of the society or of this very life. Shine. Don't be satisfied only knowing that you have gifts and talents. Use them and shine. Just as Jesus said. And Kathy. <laughs> anyway, if you have questions, leave a comment. And hope to see you in another video. Bye.